This week's Michigan Lottery Excellence in Education winner is Brian Keisling, also known as BK from Karana High School. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm curious, tell me a little bit about why you wanted to be a teacher. I was encouraged to be a agri-science education teacher by my ag teacher, FFA advisor, Mr. Mark Forbush, when I went to Perry. Um, I knew I always wanted to do something in agriculture. Growing up on our family farm in Langsburg, I had a deep passion and desire to be in agriculture and didn't really know what I wanted to do when I got towards the end of high school. And he suggested this and made some connections for me. And here I am 25 years later being a teacher. Well, you're making some huge impacts. We got a letter from your nominator and I'd like to read part of it. Uh, Mr. Keisling, also known as BK, has been an ag teacher for 25 years. BK doesn't just work during the normal school year, but summers and weekends. He takes his FFA kids to national, state, and local conventions. He gives updates with his families to be one of the best teachers in Karana. My daughter, who was a former student of BK's, is now serving as a state officer because of him. Very moving. Yeah. Very moving. You're, you're respected. Uh, thank you. Yeah, so I guess I am. Uh, it's always nice to hear those comments from kids and parents that, you know, appreciate and value what you're doing. Um, they put their trust into me to be their educator to their student, to have the opportunity to travel with their students and, you know, let me kind of be that adult figure with them and treasure, you know, let me have their best treasure and do the opportunities that my program gets to offer um, students. And it's unique about my program is I get to work for, with kids for four to five years, opposed to, you know, most teachers get to see a kid one year. In our agri-science program, FFA, it's multi-level. They come in as eighth graders or freshmen, and if they choose to stay, they stay with us until seniors, and we get to offer them lots of opportunities that are available in the agri-science and FFA program. And you've been doing this for 25 years. And what keeps you going? Because I know that you don't just work during the normal school hours, as, as we've talked about. Uh, what keeps me going is getting kids to do something they didn't expect they could do. Um, getting them to see them grow as individuals. Um, we have a lot of con leadership contests and skills contests that we offer in our AgriScience FFA program. And to get kids motivated to do that and you know one of them is for they all involve you know kind of public speaking but to get a kid to do something um in a contest that you know i don't want to do it i don't want to do it and then they do it and you just watch them grow from there on out the rest of the years and they get to use those skills they may not value that that day and at that period in time but later down the road like that letter you know i remember, if i think of who it is i remember that student coming in as you know a reserved individual and they just jumped on the bandwagon of agri-science and FFA and got involved and grew tremendously as individuals and worked their way through our organization and ended up becoming a state FFA officer and everything for our organization. And you go beyond um, with agri-science and, and animals because you actually grow plants and animals with your students, correct? Yes. Tell me yes, about that. Um, we have a working greenhouse that we do a hang hanging baskets. I have a to greenhouse management classes this year. That will be second semester. And so we'll get, each student will raise a hanging basket and learn how to take care of plants in there. Um, we do a lot of animal projects. We starting next week, October 2nd, we're gonna be my botany students, which is our 10th grade year. We'll be getting 100 broiler chicks to raise for the Michigan FFA broiler contest. It's a five week contest. So they'll learn about taking care of chickens, daily process of that all the way up to the end and basically they'll learn, you know, from beginning to end of the food chain with them. And they'll get to see that whole process through. Uh, we raise pigs at school. We get two sows from Michigan State University that we farrow and the kid, our freshmen get to go through the birthing process of piglets and raise them up to the end of school. And then we have a program in our organization called our co-op where students apply um, to raise pigs or lambs in our school facilities all summer long that may not have facilities at home, and then they end up taking them to the Shiawassee County Fair and exhibiting and selling those animals there, and then they receive the money from that. So we have anywhere from 20 to 25 market hogs and around 12 to 14 lambs that are at the school all summer that students and I and my um, assistant teacher are responsible for taking care of. 
Big picture, what do you think students need the most right now? What do students need the most? Um, I think it kind of goes values, um, communication, respect, the willingness to work, the willingness to learn is what I foresee students needing at our current times. Sounds like they're more than just students for you. They are. They're, you know, they're another part of me, I guess. You know, I have my own four kids, but I also think of these as my kids. Um, you build relationships. Some of the kids I ha have, I've seen since they were little because I've had their old, older siblings in class. So I got to know those students um, when they were younger and they've, you know, worked their way up to now that they're in high school and I get to have them in our agri-science and FFA program. Um, you know, having the opportunity to teach in my home county and community area, um, you know, I'm getting students back that I knew their parents. They were in FFA in Corona yeah. while I was in Perry. And so now it's at the point where I'm getting their kids, teaching their kids in class. So, you know, there's a lot of connections built there. Um, a lot of connections that I get to use more than one year because I, my program's tiered to be a four to five year program. What do you think personally makes a great teacher? Um, commitment, caring, making relationships with students. Um, you know, that's probably number one is build a relationship with the student. Get to know them and they're gonna trust you, they're gonna value you, and they're gonna, they're gonna respect you. Well, thank you for what you do. No Congratulations. problem. Congratulations. Thank you. Brian from Corona High School receives a $2,000 check from the Lottery Commissioner, Susanna Shkreli. Excellence in Education Awards, sponsored by the Michigan Lottery, providing more than $28 billion to public education since 1972.